weapon stations. Feel free to experiment and get comfortable with the ship here in the simulator before moving on to the real thing. As captain, you are in overall command of the crew. It is your responsibility to communicate with and to coordinate the actions of the other officers on the bridge. You'll receive important updates on mission status and also have direct control of the main view screen. The captain's objectives feed contains vital information about your ship's mission. Updates from support crew and Starfleet command are reflected here so that you will always know what your crew needs to accomplish. Open the objectives feed now. Some objectives also have more detailed information. Sometimes you, as captain, must choose between different ways to complete an objective and direct your crew accordingly. In all cases, your crew depends on you to keep them informed of their goals. Select the objective for more information. Sometimes you will receive additional information to help with your mission. Keep an eye out for your intel feed, located near your objective readout for tips and hints. As captain, you can answer a hail when messages from Starfleet or other ships are received. If the message is accompanied by video, it will be displayed on the main view screen. Answer the incoming hail now. Aegis, this is Captain Uku of USS Huxley. Our system checks are complete, we're ready to go. We'll stand by and follow you out when you're ready. As captain, you can answer a hail when messages from Starfleet or other ships are received. If the message is accompanied by video, it will be dis... At any time while on the bridge, you can use an external view to see what is going on outside and around the ship. As captain, you can access basic information about your ship status. Open your status displays now. The status information available to you is helpful, but no substitute for the more detailed knowledge of your chief engineer. As captain, you have the same maps at your fingertips as your helm and tactical officers. You may use these to aid communication, to identify a target for tactical, or to specify a destination for helm. Targets and nearby destinations are selected from the local map, which shows objects of interest around you. Open the local map view. Now touch any object on the map to select it as your target. Some orders you give to the crew require you to first designate a target or destination, exactly as you just did. When playing alone or with AI members of the command crew, the captain gives orders to the AI officers. To give an order to a specific officer, look at them and use the orders system to select from the available commands. Remember, some commands will first require that you select a target or destination. Try ordering your chief engineer to prioritize power to engines. Some orders apply to the entire crew. To access these orders, look towards the central console in front of you. First, select the closest ship from your local map. Then try ordering the crew to investigate it.
Affirmative. Prioritizing power to engines. Hi, Captain. Targeting. Initiating scan. Full scan complete. Impulse engines allow the ship to rapidly traverse great distances within a star system. When playing with an AI crew, you will need to choose a destination and give the orders to prepare for and initiate impulse travel. First, choose a destination from your impulse map. You need to select a destination from the impulse map. Now give the order to prepare for impulse. Your chief engineer will give more power to the engines, and your helmsman will lay in a course and align the ship. Tell the crew to engage impulse flight. Course plotted. On your mark. Aye. The ship's warp drive can generate a warp field, distorting space around the Aegis and allowing you to travel to other star systems much faster than the speed of light. When playing with an AI crew, the captain chooses a destination and gives the orders to prepare for and initiate warp travel. Always bear in mind that charging the warp coils consumes most of the ship's power. The Aegis will not be able to maintain a full combat stance during these critical seconds. To go to warp, First, choose a destination from your warp map. You need to select a destination from the warp map. Now give the order to prepare for warp. Your chief engineer will direct power to the warp coils, and your helmsman will lay in a course and align the ship to the correct heading. Now tell your crew to engage the warp drive. We're ready to go. Ready. Charged. Aye, aye, Captain. Captains have control of the main view screen. You may choose to display any of several different overlays on the view screen. With information about your ship's system status, try the different views and overlays available. The target and magnify views only work when you are targeting another ship or object. Magnify provides an up-close view of your selected target. Target view provides enhanced situational awareness, showing both your own ship and your target at once. Sometimes, as captain, you may wish to take temporary control over another command station. This allows you to perform any of the functions of that role, then return to the captain's chair when ready. You cannot, however, take control of a station currently being operated by another player. To take control of another station, look at any of your AI command crew and activate orders mode. Now choose the take over option. You can return to the captain's chair at any time by tapping the orders mode button again.
In emergency situations, you can sound a red alert to notify your ship's crew. If you are playing with an AI as tactical officer, she will interpret a red alert as a request to prepare for combat. Try activating red alert now. Shields up. Arming torpedoes. <laughs> 